Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another pick a card reading and this is going to be what your spirit guides want you to know from the 24th through the 31st of October. So I want you to meditate on the decks and pick a deck that you feel is, is calling to you. Feel free to pause the video and really get in touch with each of the four decks. This is deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, deck number four. And once you decide on a deck, you can go ahead and resume the video and we can get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with group number one. Okay, so we have Unfinished Symphony, Round and Round, To the Sea, Five of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay, so what I'm picking up on for group number one, I feel as if your spirit guides want you to know that they see the struggles you are facing, whether this be internally or with somebody in your present, somebody that you are engaging with, somebody that you are speaking with, somebody that you know you deal with from day to day life. Your spirit guides are really recognizing the fact that you are dealing with some sort of internal battle and this can be an internal battle of conflict of something that you might be overthinking this can also be conflict with another person that you are dealing with right now and here with unfinished symphony um, you have a deep understanding that you still have a lot to learn a lot to explore um, You know, your story is continually unraveling to you. You're learning more about yourself each day throughout the chapters in your life. You could be somebody that's very into music or somebody that's very creative. And somebody that's very self-expressive through um, some sort of creative outlet. But here with Unfinished Symphony, it's that you realize that you still have a lot to learn you realize that there's still more to come and still a lot that you're waiting for, that you're wishing for. And, you know, here with Round and Round, what this is kind of showing me is that there may be some sort of struggle or battle that you feel as if you keep facing. So there may be some sort of lesson that you're trying to learn or some sort of lesson that keeps presenting itself to you. And you almost feel as if it's some sort of conflict or some sort of battle because you're not necessarily sure why this problem keeps arising. Therefore, you keep carrying it on your shoulders and it's starting to weigh on you. And, you know, whenever I see the Five of Wands double to the Ten of Wands, it's kind of just become this struggle that you don't even express anymore. You kind of just hold it on your back and carry it. You don't really want to burden others with your issues or with your problems, so you kind of just carry it on your back. You just have the strength to you of holding this burden on your own, continuing to go forward no matter like how deep or how far the struggle is. Here with To the Sea, it's like this feeling of kind of just wanting to escape reality right now, or this feeling of just wanting to be by yourself maybe, to figure some stuff out within. You don't really want to be bothered by people right now, or it's that you just kind of want to be on your own. Some time to self-reflect, some time to understand what's happening, or, you know, some time really just to even relax, because I feel like you're going through, you know, you're, you're on overtime right now, you're really doing the work, you're really putting work in. You may be to the point where you're just continuously drained. Your energy levels just may feel like they're being drained by situations that are very similar, or by, by um by people that keep coming into your life. So what your spirit guides want you to know, when you do kind of isolate yourself from the outside noise, when you isolate yourself to really go within and understand why these problems may be presenting themselves to you, you'll have a deeper understanding of why you know, you may be facing the same problems, why you may be facing the same people who bring the same problems into your life. Or maybe you're dealing with different people but the similar, but a similar problem. And what your spirit guides want you to know is that sometimes when you isolate yourself, that is when you understand yourself the best. That is when your inner voice begins to um, 
to speak to you and, and it's when you really understand more about who you are and how you can get through conflicts easier. There's a quote that I like to share with my clients in this similar situation that I'm seeing here. And when you start thinking about the issue as not why is this happening to me, but more so what is this trying to teach me, it's a more positive mindset to bring forth healing, to bring forth, you know, what is what is happening here. Instead of being like, oh, why me? Always me. There's always something. It's, what is this trying to teach me? What is this trying to grow me from? Maybe you, maybe it's that you're needing to leave things behind right now. Things that are holding you back. That's what your spirit guides are coming in saying, that maybe it's time to leave somebody behind. Maybe it's time to leave something behind. Maybe it's time to change your mindset. Maybe it's time to be a little more positive. So that is what I have for group number one. Okay, group number two. Let's see what's going on for you guys for this upcoming week. Okay. Okay, immediately upon looking at these cards, your spirit guides are trying to say that they recognize the hard work you're putting in, they see how flexible you are being, they see you growing right now, they see you bending in ways that you never thought you could in order to, um, you know, move closer towards your goals. For a lot of you, this is persevering through a hard time growing through a hard time, really sticking to your, to your goals and not giving up on them. Um, for a lot of you, this could even be conflict you're dealing with with somebody or with a si certain situation. And it's like you're being the more mature one. You're kind of, instead of throwing conflict in or creating drama, you're maybe the type of person that is being really resilient to to adding fuel to any sort of fire you kind of will be the one to sit back and observe what's what's going on and be more flexible to you know growing instead of holding yourself back so maybe through issues that are being presented to you right now, you'll take these as opportunities to learn from them rather than being pessimistic and, you know, being like, why me? You sit there and you take this information coming in and you're like, okay, challenge accepted. For a lot of you, uh, I see that you can be very hardworking. You, you think very logically or maybe you, um, you internalize and really think into them before you make decisions. Here I see that, you know, you're really persevering through whatever it is you're going through. You have the strength to overcome whatever it is here that you're dealing with. For a lot of you, I also see you kind of keeping your mouth closed or not lashing out at somebody that you are kind of annoyed with or somebody that's really just pushing you to the limit. I feel like you're being very mature and kind of holding back this animosity you have towards something right now that you're, you know, somebody you could be dealing with at work, it could be a relationship, it could be a family member, a friend, but it's something that you're really holding yourself back on right now so you don't explode or create drama. It's something that you've been really strong about, something that you're persevering, and through this perseverance and observing, you're growing from it, and you're becoming stronger, and you're becoming more wise. And because of this hard work you put in, you really do start to see results. You really start to see the forward movement you know, within yourself. Maybe you see financial gain, maybe you see pr a promotion, or maybe it's just that you see things more optimistically because you learn to grow from life's challenges. Things that come your way, you, you take them as an opportunity to learn. Here with Chop Wood, you may feel like there's this never-ending battle. You may feel as if you have things coming your way that are all very hard to deal with, and it, you feel like it comes one after one after one after one, and it's maybe very tiring for you because you also have the card to take a nap, which is telling me that 
you know, 42 going back to 24, it's mirroring each other, which is like, you put in the hard work, but you're also very drained, you're also very tired. You might be the type of person to be all work, no play. That's for some of you. I feel like, you know, don't forget to take time for yourself. Don't forget to take time to recharge. For a lot of you, your spirit guides are saying, like, um, it's okay to, to take time for yourself. It's okay to rest. It's okay if you're not continuously working because you do also need to take time for yourself to recharge and be healthy. Whatever works for you is fine. But your spirit guides are saying that for some of you, you're you're putting in too much work or you are, are not um, getting as, um, as much sleep as you need. So just be careful that you don't overwork don't overwork yourself to the point where you become resentful of what you what it is that you're trying to create or what it is that you're putting your effort towards. This could even be a person that is draining you just for, you know, this could just be multi a multitude of situations. This could be a multitude of situations. This could be a work-related situation. This could be a relationship situation, but something that you are putting a lot of effort into and having a lot of strength about ha um, and withholding the strength to, you know, lash out, holding the strength to persevere through this time and learning a lot about yourself through the process. But just, um, you know, be careful that you don't overwork yourself. Okay. So group number two. All right, now let's see what's going on with group number three. What do your spirit guides want you to know? Okay, so for group number three, the cards we have here are Deep Knowing, A Change in the Wind, and Serendipity, The Fool, and The Eight of Cups. So what I'm kind of, what I'm seeing here, what I'm picking up on right away is that you might be going through a huge transition, you might be going through a big change in your life, or it might be that you're taking a change of direction, you're taking a chance, you're being brave and courageous right now and following your dreams. For some of you, this could be leaving somebody or something behind. But for a lot of you, I feel like, you know, with this deep knowing here, it's like you have a good understanding on what it is that's going on. So for some of you, this could be having an intuition that you really trust, an intuition you feel like you're very in tune with your intuition. You just know things. You don't really have to be told much. You just kind of understand what's going on. And um, with the Fool card here, you might be brave and courageous in following your dreams, following your intuition. Um, might, you might be diving into a new chapter in life, or it might just be that you're ready for a new chapter in life. You're ready for something new to happen, something fresh and exciting. For some of you, you could be getting ready to go on a travel. You could be getting ready to take a move, um, a move in geographical location. But for Change in the Wind... For some of you, what I'm feeling here, you've just kind of had this change in your life where you might be leaving somebody or something behind. With serendipity here, you might feel as if things are starting to, you know, go in a better direction. You might be trusting your intuition more. You might be leaving things behind that you feel as if aren't helping you grow. Things that don't make you feel good, things that pull you down to a lower vibration. I feel like you're leaving that behind and moving forward to something more positive. With serendipity here, you might have a good, um, you know, sometimes things just work out in your favor and you just are like, oh wow, good luck, that's, you know, lucky for me or lucky me. Um, serendipity here, you might be free spirited or happy go lucky type of person. You might also be noticing some synchronicities in your life right now. You might be noticing numbers, sets of numbers, or like seeing butterflies, or, you know, certain things that you can't really explain. They just sort of, you know, make sense, and you're trusting that it's the universe kind of guiding you forward. But with the change of wind and the fool card here, I feel like you're ready to be courageous and taking the step forward in... For some of you, you could even be seeing the numbers 555 a lot right now, 777. But this is just a, your spirit guides are telling me here, is to trust your intuition because it will lead you to the place where you need to be and leave things behind that no longer are making you feel good. Trust that the universe 
has your back. The universe is really putting you where you need to be in perfect timing. Um, and that when you do, when you do trust the universe, when you do trust that somebody greater than is on your side, you'll find that things start working quicker for you and that, you know, things that aren't supposed to be in your life will dissipate and things that are supposed to be in your life will come into your life and bring you, you'll feel as if it's lucky, but really you'll be more in sync with the universe. Okay, and that is group number three. And last but not least, group number four. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay. Okay, immediately your spirit guides are coming in saying, notice if you see 333 a lot. Um, for those of you who haven't been paying attention or if you feel like you, you know, have no idea if you've been seeing that number, start to look for 333 as it, your spirit guides are trying to reach out to you at certain times, certain situations to tell you, you know, um, to communicate with you where it is in your life that you need help. Um, if you might be in a situation where you feel as if you need assistance from your spirit guides, from guardian angels, from ascended masters, just be more mindful when you see 333. That means your spirit guides are nearby and they're ready to help you through whatever it is you're going through. You're never alone. You always have, you always have help in spirit. So no matter what dark time it is that you're going through, you feel as if you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, you are never alone. There are always people around you going through the same situations. You know, they might not always be voiced because people don't always like to share the dark times or the dark chapters in their life, but you'd be really surprised by how many people around you are going through similar things here. So here with, you have here and now, you have mending, you have regeneration, you have the tower and you have temperance. So for a lot of you, you could have been dealing with a very dark time. Uh, previously in your past, you could have been dealing with a big breakup. You could have been dealing with a time that you felt at your all-time low. You could have just been really sad or depressed, feel like you're in a very dark time. Um, for a lot of you, this brought you to self-love and self-healing. And for a lot of you, you're not you're trying to remain more focused in the present. So for a lot of you, that could even mean that you were very involved in meditating, very involved in some sort of um, you know, yoga, just really being present, focusing more on your breath, and that brings you here to, that brings you to the now. With these hearts around this girl, you are here. With these hearts around this girl, your spirit guides are telling me that this is a time to really focus on yourself. This is a time where you're, you might be mending your broken heart. This might be a time where you're mending, just mending your heart from a time that might have been hard on you, a time that might have been draining or even straining on yourself. This might be a time that you're, you know, reaching out to friends and family for advice or this could even just be a time where you are mending a relationship in your life that might have not always been so strong, but you're really focused here on the present. You're not, you're trying not to worry about the past that might have kind of haunted you. Um, just kind of being present right now and really observing how you feel more and really listening to your intuition and trusting yourself. Because sometimes you realize that you are going to be the hero of your own story. Sometimes you realize that you are your own best friend. Here I feel like you're trying to bring balance into your life. Balance back into your life after what it is that you were dealing with. And this is pretty heavy here. I feel like you might have been dealing with, you know, a situation that really it took a toll on you. It maybe put you through a time where you were very, very focused on yourself, very focused on healing. And what your spirit guides are saying here is that this work that you've been putting in, this self-love that you've been, you know, showing yourself, the balance that you've been seeking is all turning into this regeneration, which is so beautiful because from all of this hard time, from all of this hurt from your past, you are slowly growing into the light. You're slowly growing back into the light. You're, be you're blooming and you are exactly where you need to be. You have so much to offer to the world. You have so much you have so much truth to offer to the world. And you're blooming right now. You currently are blooming. You've been working, you've been focusing on, you know, healing and seeing the light again. And 
it's going to take time. It takes time. It's, um, you know, a healing process. It, it can be as slow as you want it to be, but as as long as you continue going forward, that is all that matters. So your spirit guides want you to know that they recognize that you've been putting in the work towards self-healing and you may be starting to feel that light again. You might be starting to feel the balance back in your life. What your spirit guides want you to know is that they're proud of you as they see that you've been working on your working on yourself, working on your inner conflicts, working on healing a very dark wound within, and that although it might have seemed like the darkest time, that maybe you now realize that it, it was for the best and that you might be on a better path now. Okay guys, that is all I have for you for today's Pick a Card reading. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it resonates with you. Feel free to let me know in the comments section which group you picked and if it resonated with you or not. Don't forget to like and subscribe as I have many more videos like this coming out. I'm also going to continue posting the 10 facts about your sign. I've already done Pisces and Virgo. So if you want to book a reading with me, all the information is below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.